12 Windows 11 Taskbar Customization Tools to Use Today, I'd like to demonstrate you how you can fully personalize your taskbar in Windows 11. We'll cover the fundamentals, such as relocating all your app icons to the left side, toggling default icons on or off, shifting your taskbar to the top of the screen, adjusting app icon sizes, and exploring a remarkable third-party tool that enables you to establish a transparent background for your taskbar. Let's delve into these customization options. Let's begin with the basics. How do you add an app to your taskbar? It's a straightforward process in Windows. Click on the search icon, type in the app name, example whiteboard, and right-click on the app in the search results. Choose Pin to Taskbar. Alternatively, if the app is already open, right-click on the Taskbar icon and select Pin to Taskbar. If you decide you no longer want an app on your taskbar, follow the same steps. Right-click on the app icon and choose Unpin. You may have observed that the five icons on the left behave a bit differently. The first icon, the standard Windows logo all the way to the left, launches the Start menu when left-clicked. As a side note, right-clicking on it opens a secret Start menu, providing quick access to Settings, the Task Manager, File Explorer, and options to shut down or restart your computer. The next four icons, Search, Multiple Desktops, Widgets, and Microsoft Teams are included by default. If you prefer not to have these icons on your taskbar, you can easily remove them. Right-click on your taskbar, select Taskbar Settings, and at the top of the settings, toggle on or off the display of these four icons on your taskbar. While in the settings, let's explore the taskbar corner settings. You'll find options for the pin, touch keyboard, and touchpad. For example, turning on the touch keyboard adds a new icon in the bottom right-hand corner for the keyboard. Clicking on this icon opens a virtual keyboard on the screen. Moving on, there's a feature known as the Taskbar Corner Overflow, previously referred to as the Task Tray. Currently, I have OneDrive enabled and the OneDrive icon is visible on my taskbar in the bottom right-hand corner. Clicking on this icon allows me to access various OneDrive controls. If I toggle it off, the icon is no longer on the taskbar. Instead, it is now placed in the Overflow category. Clicking on the Overflow icon provides access to OneDrive and its controls. In the Taskbar Behavior Settings, the initial option allows you to shift all of your taskbar icons to the left-hand side. This adjustment gives out a layout reminiscent of Windows 10, deviating from the default centered appearance in Windows 11. Furthermore, you have the option to automatically hide your taskbar, causing it to become visible only when you move your mouse to the bottom of the screen. The following option enables you to toggle the display of badges on your taskbar. For instance, in the To Do app on my taskbar, there is currently a badge visible. Turning this option off removes the badge. If you use multiple monitors, you can choose whether to display the taskbar solely on your primary monitor or on all monitors. If you opt for the latter, you gain additional customization, allowing you to show only the apps open on each specific monitor. The final option allows you to choose the bottom corner for showing the desktop. Enabling this feature permits you to click on the far right-hand bottom corner of your screen on the taskbar to minimize all apps, revealing your desktop. Clicking it again restores all previously minimized apps. Alternatively, you can achieve the same results by pressing the shortcut key, Windows key plus D, where D stands for desktop. Although we've covered all the taskbar settings, there are additional taskbar-related options within the settings. Navigate to Personalization and then select Colors. Here, you can choose an accent color and display it on the taskbar. Pick a color and you'll see it applied to your taskbar. These represent all the settings accessible directly in the user experience. However, there are still additional settings that can be adjusted if you're open to it. To do so, we'll delve into the registry and tweak certain values to customize the appearance of the taskbar. If you're up for the challenge, let's explore these options. To access the Windows Registry Editor, click on your search icon, assuming it hasn't been disabled in the previous step. In the search bar, type Registry Editor and click on the best match. First. I'll guide you on resizing the icons on your taskbar. In the Location Address field at the top, input the following location, provided in the description for easy copying and pasting. Once in this location, right-click on the screen, choose New, then select the word, name it Taskbar SI, S as in size. You can input one of three values, 0 for the smallest icons, 1 for the default size, and 2 for the largest icons on your taskbar. After making this change, we're not finished yet. Restart Windows Explorer to apply the settings. Open the Task Manager. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape, 
find the process titled Windows Explorer, right-click on it, and select Restart. Afterward, you'll notice the change in your taskbar with either larger or smaller icons. In the registry, you also have the option to relocate your taskbar from the bottom of the screen to the top. Navigate to the specified location, included in the description for easy access. Click on the file name settings, and within settings, highlight the specific cell. The current value, set to 03, designates that the taskbar appears at the bottom. You can change this value to 01, then click OK. Following this adjustment, restart Windows Explorer and you'll find your taskbar now positioned at the top of the screen. To revert to the bottom, simply repeat the steps and enter 03 instead of 01. These cover the settings that can be directly modified out of the box. Alright, by now, your taskbar should be customized to your liking. While not everything is customizable, you now have more control over its appearance. If you find these videos helpful, please consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.